Right, so you go to my drive, you go to more, you go to Google Forms. And that should be easy. So then you are in a blank form. You need to title it. I am going to go ahead and title it by my student. This is a made up student, so 2019-20 IP goals. This is, and I will put math and ELA. You can make one for math, one for ELA, or whatever goals that you have. I put all of the goals into one um, IEP or Google form. So then you're going to write the description. Maybe you just say ELA and math goals. Um, and then if you click up here where it says untitled, if you just click, it will copy this right here. And then you go ahead and start with the questions. Um, so I'm going to do one math, one ELA, just to kind of show you. But the very first thing that I want is the teacher name. Um, you can call this whatever you want. Um, I like to have the teacher's names so I know who's recording the data. I also make it a drop down because I want it to be as easy as possible for these people to take data. So let's go with Mrs. Holiday. Hey, that's me. Um, let's say Mr. Brown and maybe we'll say Mr. Smith. These are made up names. Um, I'm not going to hit the required button because, or I am going to hit the required button because I want to make sure that I know who is taking data. Um, and then from this, you go ahead and press the little plus button, and then you go ahead and you write the goal. So I will say using flashcards, Sammy will be able to read nine out of 10 words. Again, these are made up goals with made up students. I've spelled flashcards wrong. All right, so I don't want different options for multiple choice. I want uh, the person who's taking the data to be able to check the words that he knows. It's all going to depend on the type of goal that you write here, um, but I like to I like to do super easy. So let's go ahead and write in 10 sight words. C, the, I, A, am, can, be, go, my, like. Is that 10? Let's hope. I'm going to go ahead and not hit the required button for this one because some of my um, teachers or TAs that are going to be taking data aren't always going to take the ELA data and the math data at the same time, so I don't have that required. So then I go ahead and press the little plus button. That will bring you to another question. Again, this will be my math one. So using flash cards, Sammy will be able to identify eight out of 10 colors. So again, I want this to be check boxes. And let's go ahead and throw in 10 colors, yellow, red, orange, green, blue, purple, pink, white, brown, black. Um, oops, if I can spell. V-L-A-C-K. Again, I'm not going to have this part required at all. Um, so then if you go up to the top, um, you can see this little eyeball. You can click it, and this is what your responses are going to look like. So whether or not you have the person recording the data go right to the screen um, on the computer or a laptop or um, an iPad, maybe they're recording that way. This is what they're going to see. They're going to be able to go ahead and choose. Say they say Mr. Brown is recording the data. He picks all the one that Sammy knows. He just assessed him. These are the sight words he knows. Oh, and then in math, he went ahead and assessed his colors. Guess what? He only knows black and, oops, I spelled brown wrong. Black and brown. You're going to go ahead and submit it. And that's it. That's all the data they have to do. That takes seconds. So if you go back here, you will see the little response part. This is the back end, remember. You'll see the little response part, and this will give you all the data that you need to know.
Again, there's only one, one response in here, so it looks a little silly, but this will tell you how often Mr. Brown or whoever is taking data. Usually my pie graph would be really heavy in blue because Mrs. Holiday has been taking a, most of the data. Um, if you go down here, this will tell you what ELA um, what it did and, and the math. Um, also, I like to kind of put a description in here. So let me go ahead down here where the three little buttons are right here. You can add a description and I want to make sure that I write ELA goal because maybe the um, TAs or whoever is taking the data does not know which goal is which. So let's make it very clear. Go ahead and click this goal, the little three dots down here. So you're going to click that part, the description, and we're going to call this math goal. All right, so here is the kicker. If you want this password protected, there's one more step you need to do. Some people don't want this password protected, and that's okay. But I'm going to show you a little trick. So once you're up here, you're going to add a little plus button. It needs to be the first part. You are going to, where it says question, you're going to put password. This seems silly, but this is how you need to do it. Um, then you're going to put, um, oops, you're going to put in a description and you're going to put in a response validation. This is super important, okay? Your description is going to say, please enter a password. Or you can say whatever you want. Um, enter a password before continuing, blah, blah, blah. I don't care what you write. So right here where it says number, you're going to hit regular expression. Um, right? Yeah, regular expression. And you're going to say it needs to match. Okay? Regular expression matches. Then you're going to go ahead and put a password in. Say you, um, I'll say burp. That seems funny. The custom error text is what happens if they don't put burp in, okay? I would say something like incorrect, man, I can't spell, incorrect password, okay? This is important. You need to require this. Make sure this is required, all right? Then the next step is this little equals bar. It's actually called a page break. You're going to click this. And all of a sudden, they have a page right here, okay? So there's a password here, and then this part. Um, and you can title this uh, Sammy's IEP, because all of a sudden, the second part of this didn't have a title, so I just retitled it. So guess what it looks like once you go to the little eyeball up here? Now, you can't see any of Sammy's goals or Sammy's anything until you put in the password. Burp would be the password. You're going to go to next. All of a sudden, you are have access to this. And that is how easy that is. This is beyond easy. I cannot wait to use this for my upcoming school year. So when I go back here and you click the little view button, I go to the top and I cut out that link, you are going to go to a URL, a QR code maker, and you will create your own codes. And then you can print them and give them to whoever you want who is working with Sammy. Um, maybe your bus drivers need to record Sammy's behavior. Maybe the Jenna teachers need to record his um, ELA goals or whoever needs this form to track the data. It's so easy to use QR codes because all you have to do is hand them a QR code that no one else can have access to because it's password protected. Um, so that's all I have for you now. I, if you have any questions, please leave me comments below.